the E Nations Cup, the best 24 nations in the whole world come together and play in a big 2v2 tournament for $400,000. The England team is me, Tex and Mitch Haywood and it is the final tournament of the year. So let's make this a good one. Okay. <laughs> I'm testing light now, so don't get so scared. A little bit meaner face if you can. <laughs> I'm not very aggressive, oh, I'll try. That's it, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Caught me as I was about to go. <laughs> See you there, guys. Good luck. And that's it. Are you about to do TikTok? Have you got it? No. No. We're making an excuse. What's next? No, I'll do it. Don't I'm not doing me. a TikTok. I'll do a text like this. Do you Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but these hips can move for an old man. Do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't do the TikTok. <laughs> this is my friend from Sweden. Say hi. Hi, to Matthias. To England. Uh, hello, UK. I love you all. We're teaching the Swedes uh, our slang. I don't know any swear word. Yeah, I haven't taught you that. Well, what do you, what do you know? In it, uh, uh, how, how do you say hello to someone up north? Yes, lad. <laughs> I'm teaching it. What happens if you're really happy and you win a We're game? Buzzing. Uh, buzzing. Not buzzing. <laughs> First time in the booth for the boys? Yeah. First time. Yes. We're back on the upper booths again. Saying it looks small, Mitch? Yeah. Compared to online, online looks massive. What? It's like the whole area it looks huge. Mm. Yeah, it looks yeah, why don't you take all the bags out and it's just yeah, literally yeah. that in the game? Might be on the mic, they offside. Guess what? Same thing happens. Bang, bang, bang. It's definitely offside, by the way. What oh. one? That, that yeah, one, I just it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. These guys oh, he's even got a little S. <laughs> what are you going to draw? A couple of pictures, man. Say my prayers to the big man. Please be on my side tomorrow. Tex, who we got first? Oh, Brazil. Brazil, Brazil. No problem. I said, really? <laughs> Tranquilo, karma. <laughs> we are probably top three quietest teams here. Top three? I'm quiet. I don't say it at all. But if he doesn't, it's only you. If you're, 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 you're the only one. I'll be honest, if, if we get seven points, then you're all about it. It's already one half about it. <laughs> How do you think that was, Mitch? Cagey. Cagey? Very cagey. I expect it almost in every game, to be honest, so... Yeah, that, that's like a carbon copy of what's going to happen in the next nine, I think, so... Yeah. Were well, Brazil good? Very defensive. They're very known for like 5 2 to Not the Brazilian in real life, unfortunately, but... A draw, it's, it's whatever. Like, it's just, it's just a whatever result, we'll be fine. It feels like, do you know what I mean? We've been told we're crap like, the whole time in the camp. We're not that bad. They're okay teams. This is what we expected to happen. And you're not playing that bad, you're really not. I've just got 
her a bit more swagger though, like, I'm yeah. angry. Yeah. I, I'm playing like I'm gonna cry every time I get the ball. I feel like you're playing like you're scared to make a mistake. Yeah, I am. I am, I'm petrified. That's what I'm saying. I've never, I've never been more petrified in my life. And then it happens. One game left for today, for this lot of groups. Obviously we've got a uh, group B and D coming in later on. You've got to win your games while you've got them in front of you. Let's see what happens in the next one. More much excitement for me, fellas. England is, is the big takeaway because they had an opportunity here in order to actually progress or to prosper or really create some separation, and they haven't done that. I'd say Brazil, Scotland, and England, not even in gear two yet. I mean, you know, I think they've started very, very slow. Today is the day. Second day of groups. You don't finish in the top four today, it's over. Currently third, but it's all within two points, so everything to play for. You've joined the debate. Prime Urzel or Prime De Bruyne? Just think carefully. So what was that? Prime Urzel or Prime De Bruyne? Oh, that, you know what? That, but you mm. still have to De, De Bruyne. It's De, De Bruyne. Yeah, well, De, De, George. Bro, De Bruyne is like yeah, one of the best Premier League players ever. He's the so second Urzel. best midfielder ever. So is Urzel. No, he's not. Oh. Bro, you're looking at KDB and you're, you're... Yeah, but he's a system matcher. I would, I would tell you that he's probably going down as the best midfielder Take him out of that right-hand so side in that little half space where he crosses and he's nothing. Like he's in the Gerard and Lampard discussion. Urzel doesn't come into them discussions. So. No, he doesn't. He's above him. He's the greatest playmaker to ever live. Are you the only person that thinks this? <laughs> no, so I have as well. No, so and the it's, other Arsenal fan in the room. Yeah. That's not having to do with it. <laughs> room to improve from yesterday, right? Yeah, we know yesterday wasn't great. Uh, I think we're all aware of it. Today's a new day, new opportunities. We've got uh, a lot of big games early on, so hopefully it's better than it did yesterday. I don't think a draw is necessarily a bad result. You just can't lose this game. As I say that, Brazil slap it in the top bins. Oh, oh, yeah. Full-time result, Brazil 1, England 0. The pressure continues to build, and that is a picture on your screen of maybe just how tense this England camp is at the moment with these two players. Up. It's just they not. They should make the change. I change. I don't like the way they're... Look at, look at the body look at, language. Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not aligned. They're Texas obviously... Gone. They're obviously not working together right now. They, sh I, 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 make the sub, make the sub. Look, bang, goal, fucking chance, goal. Nah. It's just two straight things. I can see the goal, and then I, all I need to do is score. Oh, I understand what you're saying. I understand. Performance is there, but when you when you when you make a mistake for the goal like that, it's tough. and then you have the chance to equalise and you do that, like, it's so destroying, you know what I mean? Literally just sold completely. I am so sorry for selling. I, I'm aware, <laughs> up, I'm aware of their goal and the chance. I know you don't even need to sell. Mate, it's relevant. Oh, no, no, no. Two games. It's in two games. Win for over through the group. Well, we can see Team Scotland currently one goal up over England. England, possibly, they have scored. They have ha leveled that one up. Still a long way to go for these boys. Come on, England! <laughs> Goal in game two. It's between England and Scotland. Which way has it gone? It's gone to England. It could be a massive win for them in this group. This win would keep them in the top four and it would put Scotland and Brazil in the bottom two as it stands. And they saw me on the couch and thought, you know what, we need to start playing now. Richard's here. So interesting, isn't it, to see those emotions. England, another goal for them, possibly 4-1, that scoreline at the moment. They really changed things around, didn't they, in that second half. New day, New England is what it seems like. A couple wins in a row, what's changed? New mindset, new mentality. And uh, so far it's working, but obviously we've got two big games left. Uh, so what's the deal, what have we got to do? We're free if we get a point. Yeah. Or if Singapore lose, or draw. Yeah. Or the better plan. You have to win. Win two games, click second spot, yeah. don't play Portugal or Spain. That's the plan. We're through officially. Um, still get third, I guess, but 
Yeah, I mean, job's done for now, I guess. Brazil so. plays Singapore. Yeah. yeah. So, with Brazil winning, England can't finish third at the moment. So, they'll probably know that result and they're just playing this game out. And that's in setting up for an England versus Portugal matchup as it stands. I think Argentina will good practice for tomorrow because Portugal basically the European Argentina in FIFA. How do you feel? Relieved to get through the group because <laughs> after that first day, uh, it, was, it was a disgrace. It was, it was trenches. Disgrace. It was in the trenches. Big sir. trenches. Second day, they learn how to win again. You need to get back on that step by the way. I'm cause... that small, yeah. That's <laughs> personal between me and you. We play Portugal now. Very entertaining game tomorrow. Very entertaining, so looking forward to it. Oh, Most boring group of all time. Every team. Possession, possession, possession. you got to come back here at six, you watch goals flying in. This session was enough to send me to sleep. So guys, I have time to do an interview today. I'm in a rush, i got to get back to something. <laughs> what was that? What interview? Yeah, what's question? Camera meets camera. How's your job as media day two? How's my job as you interviewing me? Uh, it was fun. Fun? I mean, more goals today, so... Finally something happened. How was, how Are we just having a camera off? Yeah, how was your uh, day as player on day two? I'm not going to cry, so... In progress. <laughs> Things are getting serious. It's knockout day. The Germans have arrived on a bus. <laughs> There's a whole crowd of them. Where's all the England fans? <laughs> no. Nowhere to be seen. We're one man up, we're one man band. That the English songs of France are not part of it. Give up the chase. I'm only here for the rap. Good man. So front row. If for raw, I'll be. They're obviously not working together right now. They, I, I, I make the sub. Make the sub. It's maybe just been a bit of a slow gel for Tom and Tex. England, not really performing how we'd all expect it. England, on the other hand, yeah. England need magic here. Let's turn our attentions back to this one. England, Portugal preparing for a second leg there. We're back on the way here. Portugal, England, they gave us no real goals and no real chances in the first leg. Waiting for the right time to strike her England, then Mbappe down the byline. Can't dive into the tackle from Portugal. They are so patient in the way to defend. Mbappe still looking to dance in the box, looking to Lacroquette to his way around. But the patience there from Portugal is incredible. Portugal go for a long cross. Finds Hull. It could be a give for R9. Bouncing in the box. Well played, Militao. We put ourselves in a position to beat the favourites on the tour. Exactly. 45 minutes there. But this is going to come down to the smallest of margins. One mistake or just a moment of magic. He was the FIFA E Club World Cup champion. That's a mistake at the back for England to pounce on, maybe. Into our nine. Can they look to jump on this mistake from Portugal? Oh, he goes down oh, to ground. Penalty, oh, England! Buddy. A massive moment for England there against the side that's so disciplined at the back. It's Ramos that steps over it. It's England from the spot. Which way will they go? They score! And England lead against Portugal with not long left in the tie. Portugal. On the hunt for a goal back in this, we're out of the back post, CR7 will bring Portugal back into the tie. Just after this last attack now that Portugal will have in the 90th minute, if this round is 16, CR7 with a gift of a goal. He did it in 2019 in London, he does it again in Copenhagen, the heart of Denmark. And it's the man that's the half this Portuguese team in Cristiano Ronaldo that will break England hearts. Close game, man. Close game, GG's. Well played. Yeah. GG, bro.
Unfortunately, top 16 is as far as we could make it. We got absolutely done by that 90th minute goal. I want to give a massive shout out to Brazil for winning the tournament. They were deserved winners for how well they did in the knockouts. And that is the conclusion of the FIFA 22 season. It has been a journey. There's been a lot of lows and not many highs, but I wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you who have supported me through this. It means more than you believe. Thank you, and I will see you all in FIFA 23.